I'm good. How are you? Man, you know, I'm feeling good now that I got my first baller homie on the set. You yes, know sir. what I mean? I feel a little more comfortable right now. Yep. Yeah, man. How you feeling, man? How you feeling about yourself and your chances of getting that state? You I feel good. Um, I just know that all glory to God, first of all. I wouldn't be here without him. So come on. Just being able to um, you know, just seeing all my hard work start to finally pay off is something that I'm definitely like just taking a moment like wow, like it's it's really like just unfolding in my eyes. So just giving glory to God, just being able to just keep working hard and then it finally shows. So Oh, and it's showing now. It's really showing. Mm -hmm. So I, I want you to know that, uh, you know, your hard work ain't, ain't going in vain. Yep. And as long as you keep working hard, good things that happen. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. But, 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 but what is your biggest challenge as being a student athlete? Um, You know, going to Seattle Academy, it's a lot higher expectations. So, like, it's a lot bigger, like, different classes, different homework. So, like, compared to, like, other schools, I may be like, oh, I'm doing this. And they're like, nah, what is that? Like, they never heard of it before. So, and then just like the workload of the time, like it's like a lot more workload. So just being able to balance it with like working out and then sports, it could be challenging, but I feel like me being able to push through that has set me up for college in a good way. Okay, so now I got to ask you a real question because I've been a, I've been your age, pimping. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, not X that out. It's family show. Player, I didn't see, I've been your age. It's a lot of distractions. Yeah. You know, and how do you stay focused on your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations? Because mm -hmm. you have dreams and aspirations. But boy, I'm telling you, the scent of perfume in the air can distract any man, I promise you. Yeah. How do you how do you navigate through that and and, and, and course your way through your dreams? Um, first of all, one thing I do is like I just look at what the consequences of the past were of like the situation. So like I know like to steer away from that, like certain things that will lead me off course of what I want to do. And I know my dreams, like what I want to do is like personally for me. So I'm like, oh, like I want to do whatever it takes to get here. And I'm going to like stay clear of distractions. That's going to take me off that course because I know that's where I want to be. So um, that's something that I just kind of just lock in on myself, surround myself with people that I know will like help me get to where I want to be. And it has helps a lot because it just keeps me on course and i'm able to just just focus on what i need to do and make sure i can get to where i want to go oh your dad your dad do more push-ups than you too so you might yeah. want to chill out and just do what you're supposed to be doing <laughs> yeah because i don't want him catching the case i don't i do not no. at all okay but I, I i really see that you're saying about that dedication what does it take to be third fastest in the state like do what's your regimen give me something that you give me like what time you wake up? Do you work out before school and after school? I need to know because some of these people just think they can get on the track and be third fastest nah. in the state. Any, any classifications? I just want y'all to know third in the state. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, One thing for sure is I look up at 545 because I live in Auburn to get to school. So a lot of times I'm just waking up, taking time and just I'll just sit for a minute, think about, okay, how I want this day to go. And then just when you like just working out at home, like just being able to like the little stuff no one sees. And I feel like people need to like, people think they need to record to like prove validation that they're working out or something. But like if even little stuff like this, 100 pushups a night, uh, 100 crunches, like the little stuff I do, it shows later on. And like just working out when I do have the opportunity to and just going 100% at practice. Like most people think that going like, they don't want to feel pain. And that's one thing about track, like you're doing like 400 at practice no one wants to feel that and just being to like overcome that and just push your thinking in your mind like okay i need to push through this and that's one thing that like just pushing through and going maximum effort is gonna like show in the like practice is harder than the meets it should be like the practice it should be harder so just pushing through at practice and completely going like full speed is 100 percent is gonna show in the meet and that's pretty much what it takes just like just push through what you like your limitations really and so now all the pushing through limitations all that hard work right now you going to state tomorrow? Am mm -hmm. I am I correct? Yep. Uh, so 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 tell me how that works. How many heats do you have? How many times do you have to run to get that state title? Uh, once, twice. I actually, had to run. So the first heat is prelims, and I just got to get either first in that heat or next six fastest times. But I plan to get first. So just <laughs> hopefully I can get first. Okay. In the first heat. Hallelujah. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm with you. He's getting yeah. first in the first one. First in the second. 
Mm -hmm. I'm with the confidence because you didn't work hard for it mm -hmm. and you deserve it. You know what I mean? Thank you. But you gotta keep working hard at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like I am, man. It's a dream come true coming in this debt with all these lights on. I gotta maintain it now. Mm -hmm. It's hard to maintain at times. I yeah. gotta have help. That's why I got my man Salman and Shay over here. They yeah. go always to Ashutachi, <laughs> other butts. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And so, you know, uh, I, I appreciate you going for what you want to go after mm -hmm. you know what I mean and your goals and aspiration you're waking up at 5 45 some of these kids don't even like to wake up yeah and so for you to do that it takes a lot of dedication I appreciate mm -hmm. it that's an inspiration for me because I wake up at five o'clock every day yeah and it's not because I want to really and it's not because I'm the smartest person in the world either mm -hmm. uh, but one person always told me the, the most influential and the most charismatic people and the most people that have the most money always wake up and where it's the first news yeah. and it's usually at five o'clock in the morning so i figure i get up at five just because i can get a three hour jump on everybody else that's waking up at eight yeah because i know i ain't smarter than everybody but i can maybe i can outwork them you mm -hmm. know what I mean? and i'll grind and i'll shine them you know what i mean a little bit yes, so you know now i want to root you on i want i want it, all the people out there uh he is going for state yeah. I want you to know he's a local kid trying to go to state. His dad's gonna give us the link. We're gonna make sure that we gonna we cheering them on. We need a state champion. All the state champions. If we got our babies out there in the state, we gotta cheer them on. And not just your baby, all them babies. We gotta start saying all these babies. Yeah. You know you got babies, but all these babies. I treat all y'all just like y'all my baby. Mm -hmm. And I make sure I cheer y'all on. And so for that being said, boy, you better run, okay? And yeah. I need second fastest time. I need second, okay? Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming on the show, yep. man. Thank you. Hey.